If your patient has proportional leg sizing or if you're ordering a brace for stock inventory, use the sizing chart to determine the correct size. If you prefer to have Townsend customize the assembly of your patient's brace at no additional charge, please provide two circumference measurements, 6 inches above knee center and 6 inches below knee center, and a medial lateral width measurement at the widest aspect of the knee with the leg at full extension. An ML caliper should be used to accurately ascertain the knee width. Record the patient's subjective level of knee pain using the numerical rating scale of 0 to 10. The Rebel Reliever Brace features Townsend Design's load shifter technology that can be used universally for unloading the medial or lateral compartment of the knee. The bilateral load shifters will allow you to shift the angle of the femoral shell to increase correction and amplify the three-point corrective force system needed to decompress the affected compartment. The Rebel Reliever is packaged with both load shifters in the neutral position, halfway up the slotted side mechanism. Open all the straps and unlock both of the load shifters on each side. With the patient seated at the edge of the chair and the knee flexed to 60 to 90 degrees, position the brace on the leg with the hinges slightly above the patient's anatomical knee center. Ensure the joints are not positioned too far anterior or too far posterior. The ideal position is at midline on the side of the leg or slightly posterior to midline. Secure the synergistic suspension strap, which is the upper posterior calf strap. This strap should be positioned above the calf in the flexion fold behind the knee to utilize the calf muscle as a natural shelf to maximize suspension. Tighten the strap and secure it using the Velcro tab. If any strap is too long, remove the Velcro tab, trim the strap, and reapply the tab. If you notice the padding is passing through the buckle, reposition the pad away from the buckle so that it does not interfere with the fit. If the padding still interferes with the tightening of the strap, the pad can be trimmed with scissors and reapplied to the strap. Tighten the anterior tibia strap. The strap should be tight, but not so tight that it pulls the hinges or the uprights too far anterior. If the hinges are properly aligned, the condylar pads should be located at midline on the sides of the knee or slightly posterior to midline. Remind the patient the strap should be left closed in the position you have set to ensure the brace is correctly positioned. Tighten the distal calf strap to secure the lower band against the tibia. This band is specifically designed to intimately fit against the flatter medial aspect of the tibia and the rounder lateral aspect of the shin to prevent brace rotation while the patient is active. If the patient's thigh length allows, with the thigh straps unattached, lift and release the snap lock lever on each of the load shifters and extend the thigh portion of the brace upward equally on each side. Note, adjusting the height of the thigh band beyond mid-thigh level will enhance the mechanical advantage of the three-point corrective system. With the patient seated at the edge of the chair, have the patient flex and extend their knee. With the knee fully extended and the heel resting on the floor, have the patient dorsiflex their foot. Adjust the position of the thigh shell by extending or shortening the load shifters on each side so that the thigh shell fits the resting position of the patient's thigh or Q angle. By positioning the leg and brace while the patient is non-weight bearing, you can correct the knee to its resting neutral position. Take note of the numerical position of each load shifter. This is your starting point. Tighten the two posterior thigh straps to secure the upper shell. If the brace was ordered with the optional compression suspension package, or if the brace is a PCL model, there will also be an anterior thigh strap that needs to be tightened. At this stage, you have corrected the patient's knee to their neutral position. Before adding more correction, have the patient ambulate and describe whether they feel a corrective change generated from the brace. Some patients will be satisfied with this initial level of correction, but additional correction may be needed. Reseat the patient at the edge of the chair with their knee flexed 60 to 90 degrees. Loosen both thigh straps, release the snap lock lever, and extend the load shifter upward one to two increments on the affected compartment while keeping the load shifter locked on the unaffected side. Relock the load shifter on the affected side and have the patient ambulate. If the patient is satisfied and comfortable with the corrective force, 
Note in the patient's chart the numerical values of the load shifters on both sides of the brace. Be sure to record their level of knee pain using the numerical rating scale of 0 to 10. Instruct the patient to come back in two weeks for a follow-up visit to re-evaluate the level of correction and re-record their level of knee pain. Get your patient mobile again.